Welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Um, we are doing more long form videos. Streams from now on. Uh, um, the streams haven't been uh, good for me right now. I'm still, you know, messing with the um, the with Prism uh, to make sure that uh, I have what I want to do, uh, on, I'm still messing with Prism, but I, but this game doesn't really call for streaming, so it'll be more long form videos, but you guys won't miss any of the action. wonder why. I can't believe you tried to crush us with an effing boulder. You want us to steal your goddamn treasure or not? Hmm. Why don't we make a deal? You wish to proceed further, yes? A deal, you say? There is a town nearby. I would like you to take back that which the bandit there stole from me. Oh yeah. I think I remember seeing a town on the way here. If you bring what was stolen back to me, I will give you a reward. I'll even tell you how to proceed. Can't you tell us any more details? Anything about this bandit or what was stolen? You'll learn all the information you need to know once you arrive. We'll need to head outside if we want to go to the town. We can go when you're ready, Joker. Hmm. Yes. Hey! What do you want to do? Hmm. the thing you said they stole, right? Well done. It is yours now. Wait, what? Didn't you want us to get it back because it's important? That is a map of the tomb, stolen by the bandit to aid in his ransacking of this place. Why are you letting them just do whatever they want? This is your palace, isn't it? All that matters is that the map is now yours. Just come further in and... Oh. What in the... Futaba-chan dis- God damn it! Shit! <clears throat> Is this- Quicksand! Everyone, swim with all your might! Hey, you guys still alive? Ow! First a boulder, then this. 
Uh, did we piss her off somehow? I don't think it has anything to do with us angering her. I suspect the problem is that she can't control her instinct to push people away from her. Simple defense mechanism. Considering what she's been through, I don't blame her for mistrusting others. Joker, let's save her. We've got to help Futabachan open the door to her heart. I have no objections, but we should worry about ourselves first and foremost. Come on, let's look for a way back above ground. Otherwise, this place is going to end up our tomb, too. A victory. I can easily win. I have something. Okay. That was an easy win. Let's go, Joker. I have something. <gasps> Treasure chest. Excellent. Show them something truly breathtaking, Skull. Let her in. I'll have the usual. Of course. What a I master! My soul into this bowl. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to eat you. Order up. <laughs> Impressive, right? <laughs> Look at that. This is good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. A spectacular victory. Power courses through me. This new skill suits me. Focus. Hey. Hmm.
tether them. Look. Hey, it seem. Hmm. Really getting the hang of this whole growth thing. <sighs> What's wrong, Justine? It isn't. It is nothing vital. However, presiding over the growth of another feels almost nostalgic in a way. Do you feel the same, Caroline? What do you mean? You've never taken care of anyone like this before. You are not wrong about that. Yet, our duty is... Aid. And yet, our duty is to aid in his rehabilitation. And yet, our duty to aid his rehabilitation aside, observing his growth feels oddly familiar. Excuse me? That can't be right. The inmate's growth and this rehabilitation are the exact same thing. Hey, inmate! The growth you're getting from these tasks is helping with your rehabilitation, right? Probably. See, Justine? They're the same. Is that not something we should judge for ourselves, though? Anyway, Justine... Don't forget about our job. The duty we've been handed is all that matters. Don't think about anything else. Yes. I suppose you are correct. <sighs> I guess you're gonna keep worrying about this till the inmate finishes his rehabilitation, huh, Justine? Look what you've done, inmate. Getting us all wrapped up in your fate. Ugh. Could it be? What's wrong? Nothing. But I believe I am beginning to look forward to seeing whether the inmate can complete his tasks. You heard her. Don't disappoint us, inmate. Yourself. Persona. Yeah. 
Was an easy battle. Hmm? Uh, Joker, indeed. Sir. 
serves you right. Best. Did you notice? I can feel it. Oh! <sighs> hey! It's somewhere. For real? Indeed. There's a shadow. I can that feel was it. an easy win. Isn't that... Shadow Spot! Show me your true form! That one is no joke. Come! Be careful! Chotek! Go down! Your true form. All right. Persona. Let's move bizarre. Chotek. Ravage them. I recommend attacking any enemy who has a status ailment.
focus. Coming for the rest. Of. This adult seems to be reading something to a crying child. The emotions of the artist are oft depicted in the art they produce. I can sense serious pain harbored in her heart. I should, I never, should never have had Futaba. That voice coming from the mural? She was, she always, was always such a bother. It seems, it seems you caused your, caused your mother a great deal of trouble off of Java Chan. She must, she have, must had have had some, some kind of paternity neurosis. neurosis. On its contents, it sounded almost like a suicide note. Could that be what Futaba remembers of her mother's suicide? But that's the shittiest thing to do to a kid if that's really how it all went down. I can feel it. Indeed.
Show me your true form. Another will seeds over there. Show me your true form. There's a dangerous one in there. Let's go. It's immune to curse. Come. I hope we get into this quickly. Not this. Arsona! Chotet! Ravage them! Woo! Looking cool, Joker! Go ahead, I got over this! Yet. One persona! Yeah! Let's get it, let's go! Who's up? Another on, Pat! I'll get him! Dance, Carmen! You see that again, Grinzer? Don't move! Okay. Shadow defeated! That's the second wheel seat. Booker truly lives up to his rep... Seems the picture is complete. Is she jumping in front of a car? Could this be the moment when Futaba's mother committed suicide? Hmm? Another voice. right in front of Futaba's eyes. That's horrible. So did her desire to forget those memories cause her to repress them? Let's go. Ravage them! Oh, down! 
down! Let's go! That was incredible, Joker! This will end it! Shadow ahead. Take Show me your true form. A rare one. Persona. Don't let it get away. Go down. Great move, Joker. Do not flat. Coming. Hit confirm. You got their weakness, can't you? Use my persona. Psychokinesis is perfect now. They're on the floor. Don't let go. Best Panther. This way. We're the best. All right. Excellent. Hey. Might be close by, Joker. Your true form. Now, Dutch, we are the better fighters. Use fire and Looking cool, Joker. Go. Not over yet. I'll get him. Damn, Sonic. Wipe him out. You're so close, Peter. Okay, guys. Reveal your true form. All right, Sona. The first move is ours. There. Ooh. Looking cool, Joker. It's clearly inferior. Come. 
Win with wind attacks. Saka! You're mine. Great move, Joker. <laughs> Two not flat. Okay, guys. Power courses through me. All right. <laughs> Didn't even break a sweat. I can see it. True form. Okay. Where... Whoa. Okay. The hell?
reveal your true form. Open it. Treasure chest spotted. Let's open it. I have something. Come on. All right. 
should display on the front wall now, right? I'd expect so. Joker, if you please. Wait, what? I can't even begin to tell what this... It may be... Pulling on her mother's clothes? Mom? Mom? More voices. I'm, I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired of eating dinner alone, alone all, the all the time. It's always, it's always just convenient, convenient for bentos. bentos. I want to I go, go somewhere. somewhere. Take me, Take on, me a trip. on a trip. The one clinging to her mother would be Futaba-chan, right? Don't, don't be, so, be selfish. so selfish. You know, you I'm, know working I'm working hard, hard to support, to support you, right? You, right? Oh, oh. She seemed pretty angry. Is that the maternity neurosis the voice from earlier mentioned? I thought it was pretty normal for a child to want to spend time with their parents, though. Yeah, looks like Futaba was a pretty lonely kid growing up. So these incidents compounded, forcing her mother to suicide. 
I must die. Huh? I killed her. That's why I'm here in this tomb. Don't say that! I will die. Otava-chan! Why'd she get so quiet all of a sudden? What happened to that snarky personality? Could her heart perhaps be growing weaker? We have to hurry and save her! Hey, this ain't opening. Think there's a way to open it somewhere else? Hmm. This door... It looks familiar. Oh, Futaba's room! That's it! Why ain't it opening? It must be her cognition that no one can enter it. I'm surprised that you made it this far. Beyond lies the Pharaoh's chamber. So the treasure's still here? Indeed. However... You need my permission to open this door. Then open it for us! I cannot. You must have her invite you in. What the F? Ain't this your palace? What's she mean, Mona? The shadow is Futaba, but not Futaba herself. In other words, we need the real Futaba's permission. So we need to have Futaba-chan open her room and let us in? Considering that you made it all the way here, you may be able to do it. I guess we gotta return to reality for now. But I remember Boss saying that she won't let anyone in. Right. She's a serious shut-in. How will we convince her to allow us entry? Standing around here won't help. We'll just have to give it a try. That's what she wants, after all. I think that we should do it too, even if it means we have to force ourselves in. Someone sure is stoked about this. Hmm. We have no choice but to sneak in again. Joker, it's your call when we do this. Make sure you think of some excuses just in case Boss catches us. We're counting on you, leader. On that note, is everyone clear on what needs doing? Oh, that reminds me. Give me the calling card. The one Alibaba sent us. What are you going to do with it? We're the Phantom Thieves, you know. We gotta announce this. If the treasure's there when we get the room open, given this to her, we'll let us take it right away. Queen, help me think of what to write. I suppose... We got this covered. You decide on a good time we barge into a room. That's all you. Come inside. We've much to discuss. There you are, inmate. Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It's the gallows! Used to strengthen persona ability! Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently gonna consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate! Pretty important task got pushed on you. No point in thinking about it now, though. We have to do it. Once you've made up your mind, just give the order as usual at the hideout. Hey! Oh, right! Master! Jeez. Well? Oh! See you later. I'm going to shrivel up. Um, <sighs> Honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the 
fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. But I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? So you're only realizing that now? <laughs> it's not that. I just need some time to accept that reality. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature. Eternal. Impossible to define. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their will upon the world. Um... How can I become one of those people, Prime Boy-san? Trust in yourself. What? Trust in myself? Instead of my fortune telling? I've never thought of it that way before. This city feels... This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country, son, Crime Boy son. It was a small, traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. It sounds so beautiful. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. <sighs> the youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There, I... It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to the city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care for about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront face head on with my own strength. Although, the chairman would be really mad if he found out. Chairman? Oh, um... D don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be directed, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. It all depends on you. Right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange, at least until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. Well then, until next time! I'm calling because I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a little bit lost. But talking to you about everything is helping me feel a little better. But I didn't do much. Oh, nonsense. That couldn't be farther from the truth. Talking to you helped me realize what I should really be doing. I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. I'll be putting in a lot of work from now on, even though I can't even imagine changing my own fate. But I will figure out some way to make it happen. I hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Till next time. Hey. Hi. I feel as though I could melt. The weather is getting rather warm these days. Now is the season to enjoy shaved ice. You should buy an air You should buy an air conditioner. If you do, I promise to come visit you here every day. Go to the library. I see. I, see. I didn't think of that. Yes, I 
could go there to escape the heat and pursue some art books. Ah, you're back. I heard some companies info got. Is it? Yes, it seems to private dealings in the large court books. It's caused to stir. People are wondering. You think it was magic? I would think not. This seems to be such a mind. Quite different magic that was done. Is that so? But it was magic? Damn, that shit freaked me out. Honestly, kind of hard not having a knee jerk reaction to this stuff nowadays. Sometimes people react to traditions by pleading for help from the fans. We need to find a way to stand up. We need to find a way to stand up for them. Shaking my hand. I've never, I'm never gonna wash it. Huh? Uh, please wash it. I can't believe that you're really here in a church. I read on the internet that you pray for God. I read on the internet that you pray to God for free. Is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I'm turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been... I'll be cheering for you to qualify. You'd be the first woman to surpass the third Dan League. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Men like that approach me all the time. At first I thought you were one of them. I really must apologize for being rude to you. It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me. Considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend. And he's very kind. He once told me that he wanted to become a professional player. And he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we play together. Oh! So, I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shogi. Superb. Nonsense. Please stop. Ever since I won the female shogi league, I've been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I could contribute to the shogi world. Besides, my mother seems. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. <sighs> I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. She set up the interview and photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be manager of a celebrity. Having a difficult time. But it's fine. Because it's for my mother. Sorry. I, I should be teaching you how to play instead of talking about my mother. Today I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic for using the preserved pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking with you. Actually... Aside from the priest, you were actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Alright. Forward to it. Until next time. This is Afumi. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, I ended up feeling much better after sharing my concerns with you. But this hardly seems fair. How could I teach you properly when I'm this stressed? Bring it on. You really are a strange individual, but thank you for your encouragement. If that is the case, I can only hope to repay you through my lessons. You make for a refreshing opponent. Somehow, the more we exchange, the more I feel my world expanding. Teaching you is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding of myself. Well then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you for our next match. Are you 
who's still not done. I thought I told you, I'm not a patient person. No kidding. You told us you could wait. This thing against your word. That doesn't matter. Do you think I will report you to the police? Do it. It be lightly with all the evidence I have against you guys. Huh? You have evidence? Don't underestimate me. Leaking your chat logs to the police would be quite simple. Dude, don't. Please, don't misunderstand. We really do want your help. As, much, as such, we will do whatever it takes to fulfill our promise. Please believe us in that respect. We just need a little more time. She doesn't seem to understand our circumstances. This might be a problem. gonna charge into Futaba's room. There's no point thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between. So make sure you're ready beforehand. Are you sure we're ready to go? Once Futaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight into her palace. Is that okay? Oh, so you're set on doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Be honest. Yes. That is the best course of action. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, She'll surely open the door and let us inside. Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. An eyeball? What's this? Huh. When did it get on here? Whoa, whoa! Who are you? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? If so, I will kill them in your world. I... What should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. You should have told me you were going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared. It's easy for you to say. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other me? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. Ten seconds. That's too short. At least minutes, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. Alright, I'll open it now. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. Why 
What is this? Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. Wait, these are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? The closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Whoa, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? Why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? So I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive... Science? Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Yo, maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so... You know. True. She did say things like... Die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My mom was... The one who killed her was... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. It's just that I went through a lot myself, and I... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. She went back in! What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba, you don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Even asking. Of course she can't come with us. I'll leave it to you then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. 
I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> No, I'm going to die. Good. Ah! Kitty, you again? I'll just add this. Let's go. True form.
I use this, I can change my heart? Vocal input. Fu. Futaba Sakura. Sojiro Sakura's house. And then... Something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Not again. You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! Your fault! Murderer! I remember now. Back when they were here, I... I messaged Doom in the chat and... Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now? No! You're a murderer! Murder. You're the one who killed her! It's all your fault! Don't come near me! It's your fault! I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. Well, this ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. Be careful. T treasure! There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Not for Taba. Don't tell me. This is insane. If it's not a shadow, then what is it? It's a cognition. A monster that Futaba's cognition created. How can that be? Hey, look out! <laughs> Here it comes! Do not approach the Pharaoh's tomb! Misfortune will fall upon you! Oh, look at it fly about! We can't reach it like this! We've got no other option. Let's take it down with our guns and skills! Sona! All right. Here we 
go! Isn't good. I can't tell at all when it's gonna attack. What do you mean you can't tell? You gotta tell us, Mona. I can't help it. There are some things that even I can't do. So this is inside my heart. I didn't think it'd be like this. Huh? Do you remember? This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after Mom died. That's, That's correct. correct. Look at the next one. This... this is... When Mom jumped in front of that car. That's, That's right. right. Now the next. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Okay. I'll look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died, I whined about wanting to go on a family trip, but she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what, what did you do? I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Uh, did she say, my research is almost over, once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? She smiled. Ah, my head, it hurts, which is true. Your are my memories. Huh? It's calling me?
Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ah! You made your mother destroy all her research, Vitavachan. She had worked so hard on this well, she lost her mind. And it's all because of you. It's your fault! Murder! Mom! I... I... It's her shadow! Futaba Sakura, remember! You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes, but they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart! Get mad! Don't forgive those rotten adults! It's because I couldn't face myself. Or Mom's death. Even then... Why did they have to yell at me like that? Uh, utaba -chan? Uh. What denies you is an illusion. A curse put upon you by the Heartless. You knew from the very beginning. And yet... You cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I... It's all your fault. This time you'll be the one to die! Will you die as you are told? Who will you obey? Cursed words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them!
ballista? Shoot it down with this, then beat the crap out of it. Ah, I get it now. Let's go. We're gonna fire that giant arrow thing, right? Mind if I do it? You want me? I can shoot it down. You want me? Mind if I do it? Leave it Run to me! The Persona! Zaka! Why I'll live in the real world, even if she's not there with me anymore. And I'm gonna live my life as free and happy as I can. For a child to survive on your cruel world, they need a concerned mother figure like me. My name is Fate. Listen. My mom is so precious to me, and I still love her a ton. But you're not her! And I'll never live a life where everything gets decided by someone else! Don't be children who defy their parents! Just be punished! No, you're not! Come 
but I've always thought it Mokama wasn't around. That's a lie. Mom told me herself. She said no matter what, she could keep working so hard because of me. The one who decided my existence was a burden on her is myself, no one else. No matter how much you struggle, You'll never escape me! You'll be tormented by your personal guilt! Showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba, thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish, Mom. Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. <sighs> oh, right. Majid. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. Huh? Oh, right. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like you're one to talk. But if we have her on our side. Wait, what about her treasure? Oh, yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? <laughs> What's going on? Futaba herself was the treasure, and she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace. She awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. Oh, my God. 
guys still alive? I thought I was gonna die and... Hey! Will you let go already? <laughs> Sorry! Not again. What was that sound? Hmm? What are you guys doing out here? Oh, um... Reminds me, where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, um... Yes! We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! That's fine, but... I'm not thirsty, though. Oh, I almost forgot. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Uh, okay, gotcha. Let's go see Futaba. Futaba, can you hear me? Please say something. Please. Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? A house call is gonna cost you, you know. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? Mm. I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Futaba? Hey! Mm. Uh. <sighs> oh dear. Uh, um, about Futaba. Hmm? Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm gonna go close the store. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay. But what are we gonna do about Majed? Uh, she's up! Mm, Majed... Uh, I'm tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again?! Futaba-chan! For a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up, either. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. <laughs> <laughs>